for the people who don't come to class. Uh, if you go into our classes homepage, so you see the announcements. I put an announcement about us going remote after Thanksgiving and cover everything there. So for the last few labs, for labs seven, eight, and anything else that you're not in the lab to submit, if you click on the assignments folder here, so if we click on assignments and we open that up, you'll see that I have a place where you can submit lab seven and lab eight. So the instructions are that I want you to submit them as a single PDF. And also, could you please put it in black and white? You see it right here. It's uh, bullet point number three. In this announcement, it says lab seven and eight will be turning on D2L. You'll have to scan each lab, make it into a single PDF and upload it to the appropriate folder that I will make available. You don't need a scanner, just use your smartphone. And there are literally Avogadro's number of apps available for you to scan. The one that I like the most is called Genius Scan. I didn't, uh, I didn't put it in the list. These are some other ones that students have told me that they like. I like Genius Scan a lot. I just find it really intuitive. Um, so yeah, make sure you get to, that you do that. And other things like we're not going to do the live practical, of course, and but the rest of the schedule is going to play out the exact same as we had planned all along. Also, the instructions for Lab 8, if you haven't started it or if you're getting a late start on it or whatever, the instructions can be found by clicking the here button and it'll take you to a video that covers everything because there's some parts of that that I'm leaving out. OK, and remember to send me an email with what uh, molecule you're choosing to do. All right, so there's that. Also, I wanted to look over our schedule quickly. I'm going to lose my place in my slides here, but whatever. So where is our, here we go. Here's our syllabus and schedule right here. So if we scroll down, where are we today? Today we are November 17th. And tonight, I think that I'm going to be able to finish the rest of this chapter relatively easily, even though we have limited time on Tuesday nights. And then on Thursday, we're going to start chapter 10. Save the best for last. Anything to do with molecular geometry, I can tell you Mr. Dion is really into it, okay? Mr. Dion loves anything to do with molecular geometry. But the good news is that before Thanksgiving, before the Thanksgiving break, we will have completed all of the actual material that you need to know for this class. Now, I think I went in and edited the, um, the syllabus that's in posted to D2L. Let me just double check here quickly. So this is, I'm on D2L on my other computer right now. And if you go under syllabus and schedule, I'm just double checking this. So you open it up. And since I'm online with you guys, it'll probably take, you know, forever to upload. But I think, or sorry, to download. Let me just check here. But I think I changed the wording. All I'm looking for is I think I changed the wording right here, okay? From the ACS, I just changed it to practice exam and then final exam. So we're actually not writing the ACS exam in uh, Chemistry 111 this semester. And there's a reason behind that. I won't go into the whole history as to why we're not doing it. But uh, OK, now it's coming up. So let me just see here. Where's my schedule? So scroll down. Yeah, yeah. So I changed it to on the 8th of December, we're doing the final exam practice. And then on December 10th, we'll have the final exam. So it's not the ACS final. So you can just scratch that out, okay? But we are doing a final exam. And it's an exam that I've put together myself. And when we get closer to that date, I'll provide you with even more information because I haven't finished writing the exam yet, but it, I'm definitely working on it uh, a little bit here and a little bit there to make sure it's got, you know, all the necessary areas. They're all covered on the final exam. Anyhow, and again, I've got some review materials that I have put together that I will release, you know, some things that you can work on in your own time, some things we'll look over in class, all right? But anyhow, that will give you a lot of time to study for the fifth exam and to study for the, the final exam as well over the Thanksgiving break. So that's something to kind of look forward to there. All right.